New tonight, a local law enforcement officer is facing heat after photos surfaced of her apparently in blackface. The NAACP in York County is demanding that action be taken against the longtime deputy. And tenant your sides, Liz Kilmer is live from the York Pocosin Sheriff's Office where the sheriff addressed this tonight. So Liz, what is he saying? Well, Tom and Laura, the sheriff said tonight that he is reassigning that deputy in response to all of this. Uh, she'll no longer work in schools as she had been. Now, he did defend her, though. He said that she is a kind person and that she never meant to offend when she went to a Halloween party this year dressed as an African-American congresswoman. With the signature hat and bright suit jacket, a York Pocosin Sheriff's deputy took things a step further while dressing as Congresswoman Frederica Wilson for Halloween. She did not mock Congressman Wilson nor make any attempt to degrade her. Deputy Browning's intent was to simply portray Wilson as a political celebrity. With her boyfriend dressed as President Donald Trump, Deputy Jean Browning was only trying to be funny, according to Sheriff Danny Diggs. But NAACP officials aren't laughing. Is that blackface in and of itself is something that, you know, should not be tolerated. Brian Smalls, president of the local NAACP chapter, sent a press release to 10 on your side after meeting with the sheriff last week. Essentially, our take from that particular meeting was, was that nothing um, was going to be done from uh, uh, um, an administrative standpoint. Small said at a minimum he wanted Browning removed from her current assignment of teaching drug abuse resistance education in local schools. During a press conference Wednesday, Sheriff Diggs stated she will be and noted that he felt the two organizations were still going to talk and work together on a solution. I felt that it was understood that I agreed that some type of corrective action would be taken in this incident. I did not hear back from the NAACP until 4.22 p.m. today when I was notified by email that they were putting out a press release. Digg says Browning has been with the office for 20 years and that she's never been accused of racial insensitivity and that she's remorseful. She now realized that uh, in hindsight that uh, she should have used better judgment. Small says he hopes she learns from the incident. This is a serious situation and this is you know, nothing to be taken lightly. Um, this is not a game. These are, you know, human beings. These are people that have feelings, they have emotions. They deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. And we're told Deputy Browning won't be commenting. The sheriff says her new assignment will be working in the courts where she was before becoming a D.A.R.E. instructor about 10 years ago. Now, meantime, I did speak with someone from the Congresswoman's office today. If we hear back with her response or her take, we'll let you know. For now, I'm live in York County. Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side.